Tonight, the city of San Marcos is discussing how to prevent more crashes involving pedestrians. They say part of the problem is people are forced to walk on roads and there aren't enough sidewalks. KXN's Sarah Alsheh spoke to neighbors about the changes they hope the city will make. It's a constant stress between me watching out for my neighbors, kids and dogs and stuff. There's a desperate need for a sidewalk or some type of safety. Walking on the street. Melissa Austin says that's about the only option she has while living on Conway Drive, an area with little to no sidewalks. The sidewalk just ends and from this point all the way to River Road, there is no sidewalk infrastructure. Creating a safety issue for Austin and her neighbors. Well, we see lots of families trying to duck and dodge because there's cars parked all throughout the street. This is just one area in the city of San Marcos that is scheduled to get a new sidewalk this coming year. There's various different kind of obstacles um, such as water meter covers and manholes. The city's street manager Sean Wolfshaw says it's part of the sidewalk maintenance and gap infill program that started back in 2013. Wolfshaw says since then more and more people continue to move to San Marcos and there's a greater need for this infrastructure. Sidewalks are very important for those people that that's their only means to get around town. Austin says a sidewalk would bring a sense of safety and security to her neighborhood. And for her five-year-old daughter, Zion, it would mean more time outside enjoying herself. I might can ride my bike. She might can ride her bike because we can't ride our bikes through here. I might can take my dogs on a walk in here. Right? Sarah Olshah, KXAN News. And the city spends about $200,000 a year on these projects. The money comes from its annual operating budget, and this year the city says its main focus is on adding sidewalks where there have been pedestrian accidents.